July the 13th, 2020. Guys, you're looking at an image from Cape Cod, Massachusetts by Chris Cook. And this was at uh, sunset. And th this is what we were talking about in the video a couple of days ago. That now instead of trying to get up early in the morning, this comet is getting high and it was, it's rising north in our sky. But again, this is at sunset. So what is that telling you? Uh, if you're looking to find this at sunset, you look towards the sunset. And I'm going to give you uh, the next four or five days of the sky maps. But uh, Chris says, I found the comet low in the north, northwest with 7.50 binoculars at 9.25 p.m. Eastern time. He says conditions were very good. This shot he took is a 40 times 2.5 second exposure. On an ISO uh, 6400 using my Canon 6D camera, so you can get good uh, exposures. And what, and when you uh, set that exposure for a little longer, that's where you start getting that tail, guys. But uh, these are amazing images again from Massachusetts. So I'm not going to make the video real long, but I do want to show you the sky maps over the next few days so you can watch it. But all you got to do now is look towards the sunset. Have your gear ready. Now, if you're like me, you cover up a lot of trees, you kind of got to move around a little bit to see it. But it would be, uh, this. my favorite place to watch this would be on top of uh, Bell Rock, or just south of Sedona. But if you've got, and, and so you've got that beautiful uh, image. Guys, if you've never been out in the desert like that and seen the stars, you have no idea what's really there because it is a complete, um, the sky is completely filled and it looks like they're all interconnected. It's amazing. But uh, if you're out in that area, guys, you can come to our Facebook channel, BP Earth Watch at Facebook, and post uh, any of your photographs there and we will put them into a YouTube video and put it up if we have your permission. Now let's look at the sky maps. Now this is this evening, July the 13th, 2020, looking northwest after sunset. So west is the sunset, but guys, this time of the year, it is a little more northwest. And let me pull this down just a moment. And what you the gray line and the gray area is below the horizon. Okay. And what's happening is Polaris in the little dipper. Polaris is the north star and it's been used for hundreds of years to for navigation if you can find the little dipper and you find polaris it's kind of right in the center of where our sky turns and it always gives you a navigational beacon but then, then if you, you see polaris and then you look uh to the wet to the north of that is the big dipper and below the big dipper tonight will be comet neowise now that you can see that the sun is setting here right so as the sun sets, look just a little to the right for Comet Neowise, and this will change as we go into the uh, different dates. But again, sunset to the to the right slightly. Now let's go into tomorrow, the 14th. Same thing, guys. Everything's just going to be moving to the left just a little bit because the way Comet Neowise is uh, moving. But guys, over the next few weeks, this thing is going to become brilliant. And uh, as its closest approach to Earth comes, it will be so visible. It's going to be another, um, if I think back, uh, Comet Hellbop. You can see it through the night sky. But again, look, you notice that now it's closer to the center of the Big Dipper. But again, find Polaris. Look left. The sun is here. 300 degrees is right there. So between 300 and 3.30, somewhere around 3.20 degrees, if you're setting your telescope, will be neowise. Tonight, the sun will be setting. And again, it's changing because we were looking at sunrise calculations. So as the sun sets tonight, look to the right. And guys, we'll just go forward to the 15th. And it's going to be the same progression of change up to the 17th. But uh, directly now, under the Big Dipper, Kind of the center is neowise. The sun is here, and the sun is changing. Of the Earth is actually the one that's changing as far as where the sun sets and sun rises uh, due to our rotation. 
But notice uh, with the North Star here, you can see that everything is moving to the left. Again, guys, there's a if you look below this uh, video in the uh, description, you'll see a Facebook page. A lot of you have asked me how to get images to us, and that's the good, and it's a good, safe way for everyone. So go there if you get some of these images. I'll put them all together. We'll do a video, and I'll credit each and every one of you with your images because this is this comet will not come around. I think it's what six or seven thousand more years. So take advantage of it, guys. We're watching it. You watch it. It's a heads up. Be safe.